people as they come in into the waiting room. My name is Beata Tikos. I'm from Tibet House. It's lovely to see so many people. There's a few familiar faces also. We'll be uh, starting our welcoming in of the spring equinox with a guided meditation shortly. Um, I uh, see that there are people from all over the world, which is incredible. And as we all know, we've all coined the phrase, uh, the silver lining. Well, today I think we should uh, line our minds with tulips and uh, things that are growing and uh, think optimistically about all of the symbolic and uh, real things that the spring equinox brings to us and symbolizes. In a few minutes, I'll be introducing Elizabeth and uh, then we will have an opportunity to uh, join a beautiful guided meditation that she has, um, that she's generously sharing with us as a, one of our foremost um, meditation teachers at Tibet House. So uh, in a couple minutes, um, actually in 60 seconds, I'm gonna start my little introduction. Could you give me a thumbs up if you can all hear me well? Okay, great. I, I am actually myself in the country uh, on the East Coast of the United States and uh, I'm on a device that I'm not familiar with. So thanks for the thumbs up. Um, so I'm gonna leave you for 30 seconds while I prepare my introduction for Elizabeth and then we will proceed promptly at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, here I am back again. Um, welcome to a guided meditation to welcome in the spring. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Elizabeth Pajop, who has been facilitating meditation classes at Tibet House for almost a decade. Elizabeth uh, is an incredible person who is incredibly erudite. She speaks five languages and holds three Harvard degrees, including an MTS in Buddhist studies. And um, which she just completed actually in June of 2020. What a year. She is actually gonna be uh, teaching a number of classes through Tibet House. So um, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, she created, she called me about a month ago and said, you know, I feel that I really want to create a little guided meditation to welcome in the spring, to share some joy and some optimism, uh, and to uh, allow people to feel, even in this new digital world that we hopefully will be hybriding out of soon, um, that we really are all together. So without any further ado, I think I am going to introduce Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you there? I am here. Thank you so much, Beata. Yeah. Oh. Um, welcome. So I, I see it's 2.59. Maybe we'll just give people one more minute. It's kind of nice to see all your faces. So if you like, let's just do like a nice from the heart smile and wave and just from just share your smile and share your beautiful presence. And you can just look through and see the others that are with us. We're expecting about 400 people today, which is just such powerful energy. And there are people from all over the world signed up. Um, I, I gave up counting the countries once I got to about the 30s. So we have people mm -hmm. up from over 30 countries and it's such a joy to be able to do this together. So today is March 20th, it's the spring equinox. Uh, the long awaited first day of spring. I know we've all been kind of inside and cooped up and we're just waiting to expand and to see each other and to be outside. Um, the spring equinox is considered a magical time in many cultures. 
So in honor of spring today, we'll connect to warmth and beauty and we'll do a heart practice that kind of softens and embraces and shares and brings kindness to ourselves and to other beings. So before we do that, let's meet spring with presence and relaxation. So we'll do a three minute relaxation and awareness practice first. And let's start with three deep breaths. So we'll inhale on a count of four. We'll hold the breath for seven and we'll exhale through the mouth for eight. So I will guide you through this, inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale through the mouth deeply for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spring is all about change and renewal. And sometimes to get that, we just need to exhale fully to make space for something new. So kind of bring that intentionality to your last two breaths. Inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale through the mouth for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one last time, deep renewal, deep release, inhaling through the nose for one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale fully for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And letting your eyes close gently. Feel into the body as you find your most comfortable seat for this first three minute practice. And feel into the warmth of your body. Feel energy running through your body. The vitality that's already there. And we will release to be with what is so we can meet spring with relaxation. So first release your body against the chair, release your back. Relax your forehead. Soften the eyebrows. Release the jaw. Relax the cheeks. and feel into the nose for a minute. So many new smells will be reaching our nose. Can you begin to feel the air tickle your nostrils as the air comes in? No need to change the breath, but can you begin to feel this sweetness of the breath entering the nose? and see if you can feel the breath with gratitude. Opening your awareness to your own body, your own rhythm. And working your way down the body, relax the cheeks, relax the nose. Soften the skin on the face. And can you begin to release the throat? And for a moment, make contact with the breath in the throat as it kind of moves through the throat. Release your shoulders. No need to hold. Soften even the collarbones and feel the buoyancy of the chest. 
Can you notice the breath move through the chest to its own rhythm? And soften the arms, nothing to do right now. Feel into the palms. These palms that have given so much, these hands that have done so much, letting them release. Fully release the belly and the hips, the legs, the feet. And now feel your whole body inside and out, softening and opening. Relax your whole body. And tuning into this joy of having a body, that aliveness, feeling this container for your joy and sensuality and creativity and enjoyment. This body that gives you access to beauty and the senses. So go ahead and take one more deep breath into the body, breathing in and breathing out through the mouth. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, coming back from our first short practice. So this was a kind of primer before we can connect to something outside of ourselves, we connect to ourselves first. And then our awareness, our heart is in the place that we can expand out. So first, just how did that go for you? If, if you want to type something in the chat, it's like a discussion. How was that first little practice? I see some thumbs up. Um, I also want to thank you for all your responses of what spring means to you. I read them very carefully and tried to add something of each of your responses into today's meditation. So I see grounding, released, spirit of spring, all that warmth is already in you. Um, that will be happening outside, refreshing, right? Thank you. So in this next meditation, um, we'll set up a kind of sanctuary in our minds, a kind of perfect spring place. If you can kind of close your eyes and go to the most beautiful, maybe there's cherry blossoms, maybe it's a garden, maybe you're kind of at the foot of a mountain and it's spring everywhere and it's so fresh. I'll just ask you to set up a sanctuary in your mind in this next meditation. And if you wanna open your eyes just for a moment, in the sanctuary, we'll invite some people to join you and we will be giving those people flowers. In your meditation, you'll be able to share flowers. And I know it can be hard to suddenly visualize flowers, so I prepared. And just so it's easier for you to visualize it, here's a nice variation of an orchid, just so you know what kind of flowers you can give people. And here's a little beautiful rose and it was closed this morning, but it's opening up right for our meditation today. It was kind of blooming with every hour as it got closer to 3 p.m. So kind of a nice rose. And you can imagine sending them, kind of giving these flowers, but first you can kind of place them in your mind like a little white, a white daisy that's so elegant and so joyful and has so much to offer the world. So you can keep these images in your mind for this next meditation. You can notice the feelings these flowers give you and as you imagine giving bouquets, imagine giving flowers, imagine sharing those feelings with others. So that will be part of our spring meditation. And if you're ready again, you can go ahead and close your eyes, but keeping that spirit of beauty, of joy, of color. And create in your own mind or imagine a springtime sanctuary for yourself. Build in your own mind the perfect spring haven. A place with radiant sunlight. A place that would feel like a new beginning.
where there's nowhere in the world you'd rather be. And allow yourself to sit there. This place where you can just be and feel safe and relax fully. Imagining this place in every sensory detail. Are you sitting on the grass or by a creek? or next to the last melting snow? Or maybe you're sitting on a bed of beautiful flowers and maybe there's all kinds of noises around you of nature. And as you sit there in this place you've created in your mind, Think of someone you'd like to invite to be there with you. Any person who you'd like to connect to. Maybe a person who would bring a smile to your face. Go ahead and see this person and feel the release, the glow of being in their company. And can you think of the kind of flower this person would like? Just thinking of the kind of flower that would make this person happy. Now imagine that you are handing this person that flower with joy, with warmth, or maybe giving them a whole bouquet of flowers. Just feeling into that generosity, that beauty of giving. And along with the flowers, offering some meta to this person, sending the wish, may you be happy. I wish you happiness. May you be safe and at peace in your body, in your heart. May you feel lightness, peace. May you feel joy. And may you know that you are beautiful inside and out. And finally, sending the wish, may this spring connect you more fully with yourself and with all other beings every day. And just noticing how it felt to send those wishes. And as you stay in this beautiful spring space in the sanctuary, is there maybe one more person you want to invite? Bringing this person to mind and into your heart. Seeing them relaxed and light and radiant. And now think of the kind of flower you think this person would like. The kind of flower that would make them smile. And imagine you are handing this flower to them with joy, with warmth, with every good intention, or maybe a whole bouquet of flowers. 
the beauty of offering. And sending some wishes of metta. Saying for this person, I wish you happiness. From my heart to yours, may you feel joy and vibrancy. May you feel safety. peace. And this spring, may you connect more fully to your own self and with all other beings every day. Again, feeling the connection, feeling the joy of giving flowers, giving wishes. And maybe thinking of a third being who you would like to share this spring equinox, this moment with. Maybe a human being, maybe a pet where you just want to place a flower in their collar. Bring one more being to mind who you care for. Connecting to the beauty of their heart. Maybe saying, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful you exist. And letting them into your sanctuary. Hand this being the kind of flower you think they would like from the palm of your hand, our palms are connected to our heart chakra with your heart, handing them a flower or a bouquet. And see this person light up. Send the wish, may you be happy. I wish you happiness, deep safety. May you be bright in your own skin and at peace in your body, in your heart. May you experience joy and vibrancy. And may you flourish. And this spring, may you connect more deeply to yourself and to every other being. feeling the connection to these three people and the connection to each person meditating here with you across space, across time zones. And we will end by connecting to ourselves. For a moment, place your hands right at your heart, maybe both palms, these palms that we're giving Give yourself that warmth and comfort right at your chest, right around your heart. And again, feel this energy of the beating heart. This energy that's always running through you. Feel that you are part of the flow of life, part of nature. Every moment you are part of nature's rhythms. And you're always changing, always growing with every beat of your heart. And now say for yourself, may I be happy. Through all the change, may I stay connected to myself.
May I see beauty in the world this spring and may I find beauty in myself, in this heart, in this body. May I experience the ease of connection, the ease of well-being. letting myself flourish. And no need to think, just feel, feeling fully. The hand on the heart, your own good intentions. And if you like, you can Release your hand back down, or if it feels good, you can keep it at your heart. Spring always holds new possibilities. And may we find those new possibilities first within ourselves. So we'll set an intention. This spring, think what you would like to share with the world. It's feeling inside your heart your gentleness, your sweetness, your gratitude, maybe your good mood, your creativity. As you take in this new energy of warmth and beauty and life in motion, think what you would like to offer. Setting an intention of what you can share happily and freely. And now honoring all the intentions in this space now and dedicating our practice today to the happiness and the freedom from suffering of all beings everywhere. And when you're ready, you can begin to open your eyes to come back. How is the springtime meditation for you? Maybe seeing what's around you with a fresh perspective, with a fresh intention of what you wanna offer. And it was wonderful to do this practice with you. I see worlds like magical love, calm, beautiful. The sun came out, great. Thank you for joining. And you've been, if you have just one more minute, you've been giving so many wishes. Just for one minute, I would like to give you the experience of receiving. So if you like, for just 30 seconds, if you want to close your eyes one more time, and I'll be sending you wishes so you can be receiving right as we end. So after sending all that energy out, you can kind of take it in. So for another just few seconds, closing your eyes. May you feel into the mystery of being here alive right now. May you experience joy in your senses. receiving the wish. May you feel lightness in your heart. May you have peace in the mind and your whole being. May there be ease in every step in everything you do. And may you see beauty all around you. And now imagine that out of the sky, a flower just falls into your lap. The most beautiful flower you've ever seen just falls into your lap as the last gift for the spring from the sky.
So I, I love practices that goes in threes. So we did a little breath body relaxation. We did a longer spring where you were offering so much to yourself and others, and then a little one minute receiving practice where you're receiving. And I think doing this giving and receiving, you realize how much joy you can you can get from just receiving a little bit or from giving a little bit and how through this giving we're always part of the flow of life where nature gives and nature closes and it's just one big rhythm so i wish you warmth this spring everywhere especially in your heart and abundance especially abundance and kindness to yourself and kindness to all beings spring has this air of freedom in it um, as my favorite french philosopher camus said freedom is nothing but the chance to be better so we all have that chance and to be better ourselves to create beauty in the world so i hope we take this opportunity um, of the energy of the season for flourishing for growth for giving for being better um, I, as beata mentioned if you want to keep practicing with me i'll be offering uh, releasing oneself from blame class in two weeks on saturday april 3rd and then a two-month compassion class every Sunday starting April 4th to really kind of keep opening the heart. But I, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to join today. And a big thank you for Tibet House for hosting and especially to be out of here and a big thank, thank you, you Elizabeth. Kristen. Thank you. And until our paths are crossed again, and it was really magical to do this practice today. I'm so grateful to each of you. Thank you so much. If you want to do our wave goodbye and send good wishes to everyone you see. And it was wonderful to be with you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank, Thank you. you. Elizabeth. Thank Have you. a beautiful day. Ah, happy spring. Thank you. Happy, happy spring. Happy spring, 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 spring everyone. Happy spring. Happy, spring. Happy, spring. happy spring, everybody. Happy equinox. Happy spring. Happy, happy equinox. Spring. So happy spring. Happy spring. Happy spring. That's Loving nice. blessings, everyone. Thank you so much. It was great. Blessings. It was really beautiful. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Nice to share this in community, these big transitions. Thank you.